Hey, what's up guys, Robert Miller here. And in this video, I wanna cover something uh, that's actually helped me get to that next level, you know, personally, professionally, financially, uh, you know, breaking through mental barriers, uh, relationally, spiritually, all that stuff. And, um, you know, I personally think that as you reflect through time, you can only connect the dots looking backwards as uh, Steve Jobs says. But as you go through that time, sometimes it's it's interesting to see the transitions that you go through. And if you don't take that second to really stop and reflect and realize the adjustments and the foundational shifts that are happening in your life, sometimes you can miss it. And I think as entrepreneurs, as you do start to grow, uh, you then kind of forget that you're in that growth and that each, every single move that you make or every decision that you make is just compounding and it's going to be building up over time. Right. And so for me, you know, if you guys don't know my story, uh, I grew up lower middle class, uh, you know, single mother, all that kind of stuff, just living north of LA and we were making anywhere between 30 to 40 grand per year. And, uh, you know, it was always tight. So I've always remember going to bed hungry and things like that to now where I have a multiple seven figure, you know, e-commerce business. Uh, we have digital cash flow on our businesses and, you know, I have a cryptocurrency uh, portfolio that's pretty cool as well. And, uh, you know, coming up from, you know, seeing what it's like to have a, a uh, fixed location and a fixed mindset and a fixed perception of the world versus going through a lot of that personal development and breaking through those glass ceilings and then getting to the environments that I'm in now, uh, I started to kind of like reflect on that and really think about what were those changes and what were those shifts that actually helped me make breakthroughs because I'm just on this journey as an entrepreneur, just like you are as well. And I'm sure, you know, your story is going to be super inspiring when you hit those levels and speak on stages and things like that. If that's something that you want to do, it could be a number, it could be, you know, a relationship, it could even just be fulfillment spiritually with what you're doing on your path. And so uh, for me personally, it was always finding the mentors that I can not only latch on to and learn from, but different environment. And when I understood that concept and really just lived it, like the different environments and the ideas and how energy flows in different locations, that's when things really opened up for my life. And I remember right before COVID had hit, it was crazy uh, because on the flight back from this trip, the whole airplane was was empty. I was the only person back uh, coming back on that flight. But I remember going from uh, my neighborhood uh, I was talking about and flying out to Puerto Rico. And I flew out to Puerto Rico. It was like my last, uh, I had like $2,000 in the bank or whatever. It was like 500 bucks to get out there. I fly out there. I meet this guy. He's actually a good friend of mine now, but I actually joined his mastermind, which costed two grand. So I was basically broke and I had nothing to lose basically because I was still living at home at the time and I was going through college and all that kind of stuff. But when I got out there, the whole energy was just different. The vibe was different and you know, the people were even different out there. And that's when I was like, huh, okay. Not only is this a different environment than what I grew up in, um, but also like the people that I was able to connect with there and the person that held that mastermind just gave me a different perspective. At that time, I had just got done working at a big advertising agency and I was starting up my own. And he gave me two points of advice that shifted my trajectory completely. And I grew that business. I grew it to seven figures within like 11 months. And then as we continued to grow, I started to reinvest back in myself, reinvest into different events. And so then I started traveling to Miami. I started traveling to Vegas. I kept going to Texas. Like I was going to all these locations in order to start absorbing uh, different advice and different really frequencies of energy because people offer it very differently in different locations. So Miami has been a hot spot for me. That's actually where I am now. Uh, but I've gone to Texas. I've gone to Costa Rica. Uh, I've been in a lot of other places too. But every single time that I've taken a trip or have changed my environment, there's a new standard that I have started to embody. And that standard could be, you know, a health standard, that could be a relational standard, that could be a, you know, uh, that could be a business standard. But sometimes, at least for me, switching up the environment, the routines and things like that has helped me find the groove in which that I want to operate in and the frequency that I want to operate at because life is all about energy. And so when you're in a, an environment that is dark, in an environment that is not encouraging, not inspiring, and is even just like trapping in a way, not only mentally, but just, you know, emotionally, you're just trapped in that box because you're doing the same thing over and over and over, or you're just, you know, stuck in a little room or box, you know, I've been there and it can be really, really depressing. But on the other side of that, uh, you know, valley of going through that, trying to figure out and craft, you know, what's going to make the breakthrough for you, what business opportunity is going to work for you. Once you crack that, I would encourage you to go to a mastermind event, go to, you know, an event where other people are trying to better themselves because you start to stack, you know, a bunch of different core values and different things that you want to embody. And so for me, the biggest thing that I did was invest into myself and go to these 
uh, rooms that had people that were bigger than me. You know, I'm not anything special. Uh, I know I am special, but in regards to actions, I just went to different events. I, you know, studied. I did ten thousand dollars, ten thousand hours in e-commerce. I've learned marketing. I've studied financial markets. I've studied finance. Like I just kept learning and consuming, and switching up the environments helps you start to identify with the newer standards that you are elevating through and elevating to. And so for me, again, traveling and just even meeting new people and embodying those principles has really helped me. And looking back, you know, the glass ceilings were always broken through once I was in a new environment and I had more people counting on me or I even had more expenses that I then had to start thinking and operating differently. And those new environments should help you actually push forward, not bring you back in regards to your mindset. Like if you're too scared to take the trip, you can't financially do it unless you are someone that's motivated by, uh, you know, stacking on some credit card debt and then going, I wouldn't recommend doing it. Because if you're scared of $1,000, you know, not uh, being on your credit card and you're scared to pay that off, then probably isn't the right moment in time to pursue the entrepreneurial grind, right? If you have, you know, dependents and things like that. But if you are able to make that jump and you are able to go experience an event uh, and go network with people and actually start to gain more and more perspective, then I think that it'll serve you well. Now, at a certain point in time, I do think that you could travel too much. I traveled about 50 times in one year, and I think that was a little bit of an overkill. But again, it was stacking and fueling the growth. And every single time, I would say about 85% of the time that I went to events and things like that, I either met someone that really helped me, uh, I connected with people, helped grow my network, or uh, the principles that were taught at that mastermind or that event really helped me start to think differently and even start to find new people to be the who, not the how, or even implement the how because it was something that was in my vertical and something that I wanted to integrate. So I hope that helps you again, guys, you know, break through those glass ceilings, write down your goals every single day. And then when you look back, you'll be able to see what you were thinking during those times that you wrote those goals. Because when I go back and look at that stuff, I'm like, wow, that's where I was. I wanted to make 10 grand a month. Now we're freaking 10, 15, 20 times that uh, just from a revenue standpoint. And just a couple years ago, I was wanting to make 10, $15,000 a month, you know? And so it's pretty crazy. And it's really cool to see that transition happen. And so I hope you find value out of this video, guys. And if, if you're an entrepreneur and you like this video, uh, go ahead and like and comment below. Uh, you can even subscribe to this channel. We go over a lot of cool stuff here, but uh, I want to connect with you guys. I want to learn more about, you know, what you guys do, uh, what you guys are, you know, looking to do and make a big impact on this world. All right. Have a good one.